Hey, it's Romplay here. Or, as I usually say, hey baby. Um, I'll quick little update, a little story about what's going on in my life, or what happened. It's not really something that's going on, but something that happened. So, Saturday at Central European time at midnight, I was playing video games with a good friend of mine called Belsador, or Emily, and Schoolhead, and Russell. Russell is an administrator in my Discord, Schoolhead's one of my best mates, and Emily has been my best friend for six years. We've known each other for that long, and we are very fond of each other. Great friends. Um, we just finished a game, and we were just chatting, but suddenly um, I had a spiking, extruciating amount of pain in my left side, just about where my heart is. And it was so bad that I had to lunge my head forward, place it onto the table, and just place my arm where it hurt and just hold it hard until I actually felt like I think I'm going to die. Um, Emily, of course, as she has known me for a long time, or Velsador, immediately knew that something was going on. She sent me a message and said, hey, are you okay? I said, yes, I'm fine. She knows I'm lying. I was not fine. And she knew this. What that happened is that I had to ask Emily if I could go into a private call with her. And my mates fully understood. They wished me good luck. And I called her. I could barely call her as the pain was so intense. I couldn't breathe. I had a pulse oximeter, which is like the thing you place in your finger. And it told me that my heart rate was about 168 beats per minute. I was breathing okay, I had a good oxygen saturation, but my heart was flying, and it really, really hurt. She looked at me and honestly looked like she was about to cry, and she said, you are not fine, call an ambulance. If you don't, I will for you. Right then said, fine, I will call an ambulance, and I called them. I explained to them everything, and they said, well, we will have to come and get you. I've sent an ambulance now, and we will see you soon. Emily then called me on my phone and stayed on the phone for the entire time. As I came to the hospital, I was vomiting, shaking, crying. I wanted to scream because it hurt so bad. I was given morphine twice and the pain just wouldn't stop. It just kept going for four hours. After four hours, it stopped. And I was explained by the doctor that we don't know what has happened yet. You need to go to specialist for this. But what is going on is that you will have to stay here. I had wires all over me. And they said, you will have to stay here for 48 hours unless you can go home and that somebody will be there for you. I then called me explain that I live alone. Nobody could be there to take care of me. So that's a problem. Well, then he followed up by saying, well, you will just have to stay here for 48 hours. Out of the left side of me, right, place my phone, I had somebody yell, I can be there. And that was Emily. Taking to note, she lives three hours away when it comes to driving. It was the middle of the night, 4am, and she said, no, I can be there. They said, who is that? What, why is that on your phone? And yeah, she, she travelled all the way to take care of me. Now, I remember I did record something when I got home before she came because I was allowed to leave for home. And I was still in pain, but I just had, I something told me that I had to say something because I'm very bad with words face to face. And I did tell her that I was afraid of dying and I did cry and she just held me and made sure that I was okay. And she didn't actually fall asleep at all, I think. Or I, she did, but she woke up and she was just laying in bed, making sure that I was okay. And she took very good care of me. Uh, I couldn't really straight up tell exactly what I felt, but I did record something. And she is probably going to listen to this, so I'm going to include her there. This is probably the end of the story. If you don't want to hear the sound clip, click off it now. But this also explains why I've been uploading kind of not consistently and probably won't before a little bit of time. I will try to upload 
I will truly try, but without anything of hesitation here comes the audio clip that I recorded when I came home after the hospital visit. So, I just got home from the hospital. I am still varying electrodes on my body from the EKG for six hours. I was in there in an immense amount of pain. They gave me morphine and relaxants. I actually was scared of dying. It hurt so much that I cried and I cried a lot, but there was someone with me the entire time and she made me feel safe as she told me to breathe when she noticed that I couldn't. She hates vomiting. I was vomiting the entire time because I was so scared and in so much pain, but she kept with me and she really just made me feel like I'm okay, even though I thought I was going to die. I've never had such an amount of pain before, but she was there and she didn't hang up. She stayed by my side the entire time and now after being released, after she knew that I can't fall asleep because I'm scared she's gonna drive for two hours to come and visit me and no one's ever done something like that for me before and just just really makes me feel loved and I I just I just love her